Let's move on to a controversial topic because we have a viewer who wants to talk about gas taxes and yeah, right transportation yeah. and, and what's, what we should do about that. Senator Westrom, uh, what are your thoughts on that? And any insight into what the, the negotiators might be talking about there? That uh, might Well, well if, they, if they're saying anything about the Senate position on the 20 cent gas tax, uh, they would say nothing because uh, we had absolutely zero votes for the 20 cent gas tax mm. that the governor proposed in the Senate. Bipartisan. Uh, the bipartisan opposition, 65 to zero was the vote, or 66 to zero, excuse me, uh, when, that, mm. when that amendment came forward. And so uh, no appetite for it. And uh, one of the things, um, Many people are not aware, but the governor's proposal takes general fund money, sales tax from the motor, auto, motor, auto parts, mm -hmm. and moves it back to other spending. It takes it away from roads and replaces it with additional gas tax. So only half of the 20 cents even goes to roads and infrastructure uh, as new money. The rest is just taking general fund money, which mm -hmm. many of us have pushed for auto parts sales tax to be dedicated towards roads and general funds should pay for some of the roads uh, because gas tax is a good uh, way to pay for it but it's not the only way because many people that may not pay gas tax uh, still benefit from the roads and sidewalks that that we use and so uh, i don't think it's got much life in the senate uh, mm. you know the other concern is the leakage on the highway uh, user tax fund now there's many places examples of a MnDOT really not making the best decisions. Uh, there's a uh, extravagant rest area up towards Duluth on I-35. We have a quick viewer who wants to know who made that decision as well. So. Well, exactly, and that's uh, Senator Rarick and others uh, from that area are raising uh, lots of questions. Uh, Elbow Lake, my hometown, we uh, passed an amendment on the Senate bill uh, because uh, MnDOT's tearing up perfectly good roads that aren't at the end of their life and sidewalks and forcing that replacement prematurely and the locals now have to pay a higher property tax to pay for the local participation while a road that's got many years of life left in it as well as main street sidewalks are being tore up prematurely and so the use of the the fund and there's many other examples that people have started raising with MnDOT and so if you give them more money they aren't going to start being more prudent they'll just do more of these projects sooner or spending uh, extravagantly on rest areas uh, shipping in out of country woods and products to uh, make them extravagant and uh, you know a rest area should be a rest area it doesn't need to be a show horse <laughs> senator torres ray your thoughts transportation gas tax all, you know all of that well i really believe that democrats are on the right side of the issue uh clearly we uh the governor ran on this issue and won mm -hmm. uh with a good margin uh, rural Minnesota, suburban Minnesota, and certainly urban Minnesota uh, are 100 percent with the governor. Uh, he proposed this in a very clear way, very transparent way, and businesses definitely got behind the governor. They know that the economic vitality of the state depends on it, and that our infrastructure is really in, in a terrible place, and we need to fix it. And so I don't think that there is disagreement on this. I think there is a, clearly a political divide. And I think Senator Western was clear on that, and we, we are not going to agree on this. Uh, the vote that Senator Western uh, alluded to we, we is did actually. Agree on that, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that tax it was kind of a, an interesting uh, proposal because the, it was, uh, uh, I don't remember who was the uh, majority member who actually proposed the actual uh, raising uh, tax. And so, of course, we knew it was a joke, and so we voted uh, with our mm -hmm. Republican counterparts, and everybody voted for it. But mm -hmm. it was uh, clearly not a, a serious vote. But um, I, I think that, that, that this conversation is, is really not a new conversation for us. It's a conversation that we have had, you know, with uh, our private sector. We have had it with, uh, you know, rural communities. We have had it with, uh, you know, a number of uh, individuals around the state. The governor made it, as I said, a priority and, and talk about it every place he went to. And... Um, you know, we, we know of many members in both caucuses that have significant projects that we really need mm -hmm. to address, and they're pretty urgent. It's, it's critical that we actually put these uh, projects um, in place. And so we don't have the funding, because doing it out of the general fund would require that we cut even more uh, education and health care, which mo where most of the money is. And that's not an option for us. We know that. Um, in both caucuses, we know that that's not an option for us. 
So this is the only this is the only way to go. We have to generate revenue to fix our but, infrastructure. About 20 seconds or so, Representative uh, Gruden. Uh, I oppose the 20 cent gas tax increase. I would say this: if we pass it, the first two years you will actually have less money to spend on roads and bridges, not more. The reason is. The uh, DFL plan transfers $418 million out of the transportation budget and spends it on other things. And a gas tax, every one cent, is $33 million. It goes up five cents a year. So five cents times $33 million is about $160 million. So to replace that $418 million, it's going to take at least two years. So it's a little bit of a bait-and-switch situation. Fifteen seconds, Representative Zuck. Um, I don't want to get deep into that accounting um, <laughs> game that's going on. I, I think that, that, you know, there is clearly enough space there that everybody can disagree. All right. Very good. That, with that thought, <laughs> that was a good I answer. To, <laughs> I want to thank our guests. Uh, great, great short answer there. Uh, I want to thank our viewers for joining us. Remind you that we'll be with you next week for a leadership program, the end of the session, whatever that may be and where, whenever that occurs. Thank you all and good night.